All right, so guys, this is how uh, you swap out your stock SHO intercooler for an SVHO intercooler. This intercooler is much larger um, than the stock one that's in there, and it should help with the heat soak issue uh, that we're running into with the Yamaha boat AR195s and SX, I mean AR192 and SX192. Um, the main thing that holds on this intercooler is the uh, there's three bolts here, so you, and they're all 14 millimeters. So you have two here, and then one that goes down here. Basically, this thing sits in the engine like that. And uh, I'll show you on here. Um, what I did to kind of get access to these bolts was I'm going to remove. You, uh, you unscrew the screws here on your band clamps and you're going to remove uh, your top charge pipe that goes from your supercharger into your intercooler and these bolts right here, I've, you see I've already kind of got them loosened out uh, they just connect this bracket and that's what goes into your intercooler right here and so you, I've uh, taken this one loose and there's one underneath there that's already loose um, you've got water lines so this would be your going to your pisser outside of your uh, um, you know, on your boat and so you just undo the clamp here and take it off like that down at the bottom let's see if I can uh, try to get down there down at the bottom here you'll have a line that comes off the bottom of the inner core this is the line but you'll see a little coupler that's right here that connects these two lines all right, so unfortunately my other camera decided to battery decided to die on me. But anyways, we're going to uh, remove this bolt and the bolt underneath it right here. And then it's going to be hard to, to see, but down directly down below here is the last 14 millimeter bolt. You're going to need an extension uh, and maybe another extension to get it up to here to where you can actually, you know, uh, get the bolt out. But it's just three holding it in there and then you know, of course you take your hose off here you also have this hose that you're going to take off this goes down into your intake manifold right here uh, this is the bottom of your inner core um, you can see the i don't know if you can see but there's the water line connects right down below there so i took it off from this coupler Ugh. Uh, this coupler right here so just a lot easier to take it off from there and once I get the intercooler out I'll take it off from the bottom of this intercooler and swap it over and I'll just attach it again on the coupler but yeah so I'm just gonna finish taking these out you want to make sure not to drop anything down uh, in your supercharger it would be really bad uh, to drop anything down in there um, like I said take your water line off here if it goes to your pisser you're going to end up either um, you can either run uh, I'm going to go to a Y fitting uh, temporarily I've got a T fitting right now but I'm not going to end up using that um, or in a Y fitting or you can run uh, since the SVHO comes with two pisser outlets that's the reason why you need to do a Y or run a dedicated line out to the side of the boat and add, basically add another pisser uh, with a through hole fitting um, and then a little deflector nozzle on the end. You can buy those. Uh, there's some links on the jet boat form to, to buy that stuff. Um, looks pretty trick. This will hold me over until I decide on doing that later on down the road. Yeah, I'll get the uh, let me get the extension and I'll get this last bolt out and then uh, we should be able to remove the inner core. Uh, this is what I ended up making to get down to the bottom of the uh, that last one that's down there. You know, the long ass extension, another little short extension, a swivel, and then the 14 millimeter. And it just goes the swivel is really what you're going to need. All right, so it's not a bolt, it's actually a nut. And once you get your 
inner core pipe off the back let's let me put the camera down and there we go one stock inner core compared to the SVHO so you can see it's a considerable amount of difference uh, these are the things that hold it on this uh, this nut right here is the one that goes in the bottom and these two 14 millimeter bolts go into these two holes so, and that's basically it and you just do the reverse to put it back in there and uh, hook up your lines yeah, just to show how much larger the other one is I mean you can see it's quite a bit larger oh. should help oh yeah so this is the uh, this is the inlet water inlet line I was talking about with the coupler that I did apart that's why it's it's easier just to undo it there because you can get to it it's hard to get to this uh, clip right here while you're while it's bolted into the boat so if you undo it there you can just pull this whole thing out and then take this whole thing off and attach it to that all right so now i've got the uh the other line connected to the inlet on the bottom of my new svho intercooler and we can now begin to install this back into the boat bolt it down uh, when you go to install it there's going to be a, a threaded nut i mean a threaded bolt coming down right right there and that's what you're going to line up and make sure you get this to go through there and that's what holds it in there and put your nut in there and then you can begin to put your two 14 millimeter bolts in there and then start connecting all of your plumbing for the uh probably the most hardest nut to get to get back on what i ended up doing was on my swivel here uh the nut is on there but I use a little bit of um, you know, just electrical tape to kind of hold it on. That way I don't have to worry about the nut coming off as I, uh, and what I do is I, I put my two uh, 14 millimeter bolts in, but just loosely, because you're gonna want to adjust this a little bit. And now I gotta kinda see if I can't thread this without it feeling like it's gonna cross thread on there. But yeah, use this to kinda, uh, it doesn't feel that great, to get the nut down there on it. All right, so uh, yeah, that trick worked. And uh, yeah, that's a good trick to do. Use some, um, use some electrical tape to kinda hold the edge of the Thing on there and then once it's on there a couple of threads you just pull it right off and uh, the nut stays and there we go and let's tie it on there and I'll tighten it up some more and that feels nice and snug and then uh, we'll tighten up these two that I put in here I left them loose intentionally so that I can have some adjustment to wiggle that part around so I can get that nut on there all right now I have successfully mounted the inner core in there. It's nice and solid. And uh, now we just gotta put this guy back on. All right, so now I've got my pipe back on here. Uh, you wanna be sure you have your uh, your little screwdriver here where your little clamps where you can get to them with the screwdriver really good. Um, the guy when they were assembling this one it made it a little difficult to get to on that one, so I'll rotate a little bit more to make it easier. Tighten it down. Alright. So I got all the lines in. And you can see I did a, a Y, I mean a T fitting right here. Uh, I did the T fitting right here, but this is going to change. I'm going to go to a Y fitting because I don't like the way this is turning over. Uh, like that, so... Uh, I don't like that bend, but for the sake of testing everything, 
this will hold me over until I get the Y fitting ordered. Uh, and then eventually I'll probably just end up running another line all the way out to the hole, side of the hole and having another pisser. But that concludes how to install an SVHO intercooler and swapping out your SHO intercooler. All right, so here we go. Now I got it hooked up to the hose here. So neutral. A nice strong stream. All right, we've been running for a few minutes and uh, no leaks. Nice streams. These are actually stronger streams than uh, it was before. That's a good sign. <laughs> 